Okay, so I got a suggestion from Dima Dima to play the World War II locations map. I believe it was in response to one of my videos, or I think I mentioned, it was a Battle Royale video that I did recently. I think I mentioned something about World War II. I don't remember exactly, but anyway. Um, I haven't played this before, obviously, because there's only five locations. I would screw it up, so I can't look at these either. I don't really know what the rounds are going to be like, if it's going to be photospheres or normal rounds. Um... So I am i don't know how I should play this, because I, I don't want to even check one round just to see what it would be like, because I would screw it up. Um, but maybe I'll just do it like this three minutes, just because we might be on a street in like, like Berlin or something, I don't know. But put the challenge link in the description, assuming I don't lose it somehow. If I have time, I'll play this map, but I don't want to... If this video goes on for like 15 minutes, if I use up all three minutes in every round that I probably won't have time to play this but um, let's get this started okay looks like we're underground here um, okay we got French German and English here so let's see if I can wait what's this looks like a torture chamber or something these premises uh, were provided with such equipment as made as made it possible to cope with surgery emergencies, which was vital for can't even see what that says. Vital for something for sizable. I don't know. I can't really read this. This is a waste of time because I don't think it's actually going to say the location. Several something were reported in several casualties were reported in 1940 among them Moreau Okay, well, I can't this isn't saying the place so I don't know I don't think that's gonna be that helpful, but we know that it's probably France Perhaps Belgium But probably France. I think we're underground. It looks like it's some type of like shelter thing where there's an emergency medical operating room um, So I'm gonna say that this probably is near either the German border or the Belgian border. I guess I should first look at the German border. Uh, I'm not sure how this would show up if it's like a historic site or what. I don't know if like if these locations are going to be um, museums and stuff like that. Like historic sites or just anywhere where a battle has happened. Um, how about something like one of these things? These chateaus or this thing? A fort? I don't know. It, we're underground here, so I can't really see. Um, it does say Mangino Line Fort. So, I don't know if... I can't remember if that was the line that... Like the defense line on the German border or the one on the Belgian border. I feel like it was on the German border now because... Oh yeah, I guess if that's there, then it would just be the German border, not the entire Belgian like the entire thing because I think that's why they were unprepared or they were prepared for the invasion from Germany but not through um, not through Belgium I think I don't know I can't remember exactly um, I don't think it would be on the Luxembourg border I don't even know how Luxembourg was involved in World War two actually that was kind of ignored in uh, when I was learning about uh, World War two in history class by the way um, our our education system in Canada, or at least in BC, uh, if you're just, oh, it could be something like this too. I don't know. If you just take, I'm out of time here. Oh shit, I got the actual right location. Okay, that was just a guess because I saw this fort thing. Uh, I should have said this beforehand, but the um, our education system in Canada, or at least in BC, uh, focused on World War II, but only Canada's like role in World War, World War II for the most part. We did learn about the Holocaust and stuff, but uh, for the most part, just the stuff that Canada was involved in. So some of these things I may not be familiar with, especially the Eastern Front uh, battles. However, I, that that's for the mandatory curriculum, but I did take a history class, which was optional in, at the end of high school, but uh, don't know how much I retained from that. But anyway, let's move on here and see what we got. Okay, I'm going to say that this one is, oh, I think this is probably Pearl Harbor, because look, that's that's Oahu there. You can see, like, the 
Pearl Harbor there and everything. Okay, so this shouldn't take too long. Actually, it might because oh, there's the m memorial there. So we're across the the uh, the bay from it. I haven't been to Hawaii, so I don't I'm not that familiar. But I know the memorial is there. That's the thing, or that I don't know. One of those two. Okay, that's the Arizona memorial there, and that's the Missouri battleship. So we are across here, Pearl Harbor National Memorial. We're at this round thing, but it appears that there's a couple of round things. We're not at that one. We're Lone Sailor Statue. Okay, this... I'm not sure where that is. We're at the Oahu map thing. Oh, we also have this boat here. It looks like a submarine. Yeah, it is. So, we've got the building there. Oh, actually, I could just look at this museum. Okay, so I think it is this one. Oh, no, but we got that building. No, it's this one then. Okay. I'm a bit confused here. Oh, yeah, we do have those other walkways there. So I'm going to go here. Okay, there we go. So I got the right circle. I don't know where this is. The horse thing kind of reminds me of the um, Brandenburg Gate in Berlin. Oh, that looks communist, though, doesn't it? These stars. Yeah, it looks more Eastern, doesn't it? It could be Berlin, maybe. Oh, this thing, though, looks like a Eastern Orthodox type of thing. I don't recognize the skyline, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to say either St. Petersburg or Moscow. I guess I don't know what this would look like exactly. like a big plaza but I'm not sure what color this would be on the map because some plazas are I don't know I feel like the green ones are generally actual grass like on the map the green ones so I'm not sure I don't know Let's look at Moscow it has to be either St. Petersburg or Moscow though if it is Russia because of the size of these buildings I don't know where the big like tall buildings in Moscow would be though Because I assume that these, a lot of these European cities, the big, like, business district with the skyscrapers wouldn't be in the center because they wouldn't have the room. They'd be in the outskirts. But the thing is, if you look at the outskirts, that, like, that means you have a lot more space to look. And I might be on the wrong side of Moscow. Whereas if I just leave it in the center, um, even though it's probably not perfect, it might be close. Um... There's a historical site there. Wait a minute. That looks like this thing. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? See? Yeah, actually it's exactly the same. So I think it's here. I don't actually know what this is though. Victory Museum for Russia's role in World War II. Okay, I don't know if this is actually a, a location of a battle then or if it's just a big memorial to uh, World War II. I didn't know that they had one of these. I guess Russia did lose way more soldiers than I think anyone else, even the Nazis I think didn't lose as much as um, Soviets. But anyway, that's surprising, another perfect score. Oh, I think this is Auschwitz. Yeah, because this is like a famous, well a lot of this is famous, but like this is a famous photo of this and then the fences too. Um, the problem now though is actually finding, so I know that it's Auschwitz, I'm like Actually, I'm 100% sure it's Auschwitz. The thing is, I don't know where it is. Like, I think it's somewhere in this area near one of these cities, but I don't know if there's a town named Auschwitz, because Auschwitz seems like a German name. Um, so I don't know. Let's just look around Poland. I know I have looked at it on Google before, on the ma uh, Google Maps, but I can't remember where it is. I know the city is not a huge city, so I, it's not like Rokla or something, or like the outskirts of Rokla, I don't think. It's in its own town, so I'm not sure. Because the thing is, like, there's no German names here. Okay. 
So I really want to get a perfect score now. After I got those two, like the Pearl Harbor one was easy, but those two that were like just kind of guesses or that I just happened to stumble upon something on the map. Um, yeah, after those two, then I really want to want to get this. Um, look at this place is similar. I feel like this could be. Yeah, there we go. Okay, because this, I just saw this and I, like, I guess this is the Polish name, right? So it's the same, it's the Polish version of Auschwitz instead of the German name. Uh, okay, anyway. So we're at the part where the railway splits. Oh, okay, we're inside the concentration camp and this is looking out. Okay. So, I don't know if the compass is accurate. Well, actually, it is. So we're here, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that was lucky because I was, I didn't know, I thought, I thought I remember looking at it on the map before and I thought the name of the town was Auschwitz, like spelt the same way as the concentration camp. Um, but it seems like it is like the Polish name for it. So what's this? Looks like an industrial park or something maybe. Uh, anyway, it's lucky that I, that I, like clued into that actually it is quite a large city it sticks out quite a bit okay let's move on here I don't know where this is um, so again it, this looks like um, Cyrillic writing there so I'm not sure where this is gonna be there's another Russian Orthodox type thing whoa look at that I feel like that's something that would have been built for an Olympics at some point. Um, I don't know when Russia had the Olympics, like most recently though. Uh, maybe it's not for the Olympics. Uh, could it be St. Petersburg? I don't know how like hilly St. Petersburg is. Yeah, I really don't know, but but let's look for a big stadium. That's what I think. Uh, I don't know because this point will stand out too. And we got this grass. Actually, we got this big plaza. Uh, so actually, yeah, that might be easier to find than the stadium. I'm just very curious where the stadium is, though. Well, we'll find out soon if I don't get this right. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is Moscow again. I don't know. I just feel like they wouldn't put two locations in the same city. Because let's quickly think about it. We got France, we got Auschwitz, we got Moscow, and then Pearl Harbor. But we don't actually have anything in Germany yet. Actually, could it be Germany? But why is this? No, it's Cyrillic. Yeah, and then the church here, you know. So it's not Germany, interestingly. Um... Let's just look at Moscow. Wait, do we have any? I don't see any tall buildings really, but the size of that stadium makes me think it's probably one of the bigger cities. It also makes me think we're not. Oh, this is a big stadium. And it is next to a river. I think we could be here. Do we have any like memorial type of thing though? Doesn't look like it actually. I don't think it's here actually because this is like I don't see this highway and on the other side of the highway we don't have anything and yeah we would be we'd be too close to the stadium if it was here so I don't think it's this it's something the park is either bigger than the one I'm looking at here or it's farther from the stadium like the stadium doesn't appear to be part of the park because look there's a bunch of other buildings around it um, just going to leave the point there for now because I think it could be Moscow, but uh, do I? I don't know. Well, I'm out of time anyway, so let's see. Oh, okay, it's Volgograd. Okay, the Battle of Stalingrad. Um, okay, so that's quite a distinctive appearance on the map if I happen to look down here. So the Volga River. Um, I don't remember there not really being much on the other side of the river. I thought there was a city there too. 
Oh yeah, maybe that is all forest. I figured it was just like smaller buildings, but it wasn't that clear. Um, okay, so how long have I been recording? 15 minutes. So I don't think I'll play the other video in this, uh, or the other map in this video. But let's look at this, how this turned out. Um, oh shit, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, whatever. Uh, so round one. Oh yeah, round one was kind of lucky. I just happened to be looking at the border and I saw that thing because you'd think there'd be like historic sites all over the place here, or actually museums, whatever this is. But I only really saw one. Maybe you have to zoom in more. Oh, there's actually this one too, so it's lucky I didn't see that or I didn't notice that one because um, that might have I might have changed my guess there because like strategically that's a bit of a safer guess to click on that one because <clears throat> it could have been anywhere along here so yeah luckily i didn't see that anyway round two was pearl harbor yeah that was pretty easy round three that was just kind of a guess that it was moscow or us between moscow and st petersburg luckily i happened to see a historical site there uh, and then i zoomed in a bit and everything worked out perfectly um round four was auschwitz so luckily i happened to see that place name there which was similar but not exactly the same as how we would like in english refer to it or in german i assume uh, and then round five i just wasn't sure other than that it was probably in russia but uh yeah i find that pretty interesting no german rounds no italian rounds no japanese rounds um no I, maybe they didn't no i was gonna say they didn't want to be too obvious but uh but auschwitz is pretty obvious in pearl harbor Actually, it seems like a lot of it was more museums and m memorial type of things. A lot of them weren't necessarily where battles happened, I don't think. Anyway, um, I was expecting uh, Normandy there, but... Anyway, thanks for watching. I enjoyed this map. It's quite interesting. Uh, I'm sorry if my knowledge of World War II isn't that strong, especially the Eastern, Eastern uh, Front with the Soviets. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. 